make sure you've got lots of space around you, wear something comfortable that you can move in freely, have your water bottle handy and take regular drink breaks and don't forget you can always adapt the exercises to suit you. Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today we are going to be doing a step turn lead turn or tips to get your step turn lead turn if you're learning it for the first time or how to better it. So first of all we're just going to start off with what feet we do, make sure you've got lots of space hence why I've come to a studio today. So we're just going to start by stepping to the side, you're going round to the back first of all. So we do a step turn first before we even jump. So we're going to step out with the front leg and then the next leg is just going to join together. So we're just doing out together. This is the first step turn, so we want to turn round towards the back, step turn. So we are about the corner, aiming towards the front at that point. Step, turn, nice. Arms are just gonna go out and in again. Either out and in, or out and in here. Out, in, and mirror the feet, out, in. Okay, as you can notice, I'm doing a bend. This is really, really important to propel ourselves into the air. We need that bend so we can jump. It's a leap, we're going up, so we're doing Step, bend, you really want to be in a plie here. Weight even on both legs, step, bend, ready for the leap. Okay, let's just talk through the feet. So ignore technique, ignore everything else. Our feet are doing step, turn, and then the front leg is going out and we're gonna leap onto it. So we're just doing front leg, back leg, onto your front leg. So you want to go from this back foot onto your front leg. So we're hopping, leaping round. It's not a jump, we're not going to do it. We're going from one foot to the other foot. Nice. Okay, we are doing step, turn. We're here in a bend. We want the front leg to be straight. Don't forget the pointed toe. Straight, and we're aiming to go to the side, round that way. So straight front leg. The back leg wants to be bent up to the back and the side in attitude. You don't want any twisted hips or anything. Just bend that back leg. What will really help with this, and this is my top tip, is imagining that you've got a giant barrel or a giant cylinder here, round here like this, and you're going around the outside of that cylinder. So let me show you with the arms as well. We do step, turn, and then this arm is shooting out that way, and this arm is shooting out that way. Stretch both arms, and you want to curve your back so that you're curving around that giant cylinder there, you're going that way, around it. Arch round, that will help you get your shape. So stretching out, and your legs mirror doing the same thing. So we've got that front one going out straight, taking you that way, and then the back one is joining with this curve to make that nice shape going around that cylinder. Hopefully that will help you bend around to get the right shape. So we do step, down, bend, and then think of that cylinder being here, and hop onto that right leg. That's the first step, just get the feet right first of all. Step, bend, and then hop onto your front leg, round that cylinder shape. You want to ping, so that in the air, you've got the shape of the front leg. Don't do the front leg too high, aim it a bit further down. Front leg, back leg, stretch. I don't think I can do it in slow motion, but we'll try. Step, turn, get that bend to do there. That's where you want to go. Bam! Stretch backwards. It will help if you look round that way. We're going round that way, like that. Don't panic if yours isn't looking like a step turn, leap turn right now. You can build up to getting height, getting the right um, lift and the right shape going around. If you just make sure you're placing everything, all the other things will fall into place. Hopefully we can build with them over time. So from the beginning, we're just doing step, turn, and then spring off to go round, and then just finish with an extra turn again. I'm in socks, so it's a bit slippy in here. Once you've finished, bring that other leg round to help you spin round again. If you're doing the correct shaping with this, you will be turning anyway, because it's hard to aim that way and then your body won't just stop, you'll still continue to turn. So 
So just bringing that other leg down will help with that at the end. So just slowly again, step, bend, and then round that tunnel, round that tube, round that cylinder behind you to do the turn. So that is the feet and the shaping, um, and then you just need to build on it. So we really want to use this beginning bit to give us enough power to spring us up and round a bit faster. So no pausing in between. I've been doing it a step turn to show you where it should be. You need to go instantly from that back leg onto that front leg round straight away. So use it. Use that bend stretch to help you do up. Don't think up, think ha, up to that corner and round. So we're not going up in our leap, it's not just going to the front, we're going up and around that way. So use the plie, step, plie, round, stretch backwards and really ping off that back leg. Step here, there, you want to ping off that back leg to help get you in the air and stretch that front leg round that way with your back foot there. Step and spring and come out of it. Another tip that will help is if you push your hips forward as you're doing the leap. So we've just done a step turn, we're in this position here, here or here with our arms, we're bent here, weights going from our back foot onto our front foot and you want to push your hips forward here, put there to help you go up and around. If you're leaving them down you're just going to get no power, no lift and it's just going to look a bit floppy. So you want to, again, get that arching shape, so we've got our arms going backwards, we've got our head going down to there, we've got our back going and then push your hips forward as well to help with that arching around that cylinder. It's a good ab workout. So we're going down and round. Push that hip. Watch this back hip. Round and push to help push you around. I think that's all my tips for the Scepter Leap Turn. Don't forget to tag me, hashtag Zoe Francesca, and I hope this has helped you either learn how to do a Scepter Leap Turn or how to improve it, get it better using those little tips. Let me know if it helped and what else you want to see on my channel. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you next time.